doing these every like two to three months because I did them too often I feel like my answers would not like be different and it wouldn't even be exciting because you'd know everything about me so we're gonna do them every two to three months you like that you like that okay anyway I <laughs> Instagrammed this photo and I asked you to leave me questions and I tweeted it out so be sure to follow me on my social media if you're not it's kind of weird because I feel like we're like best friends on Twitter and Instagram come on follow me on there I'll have my things down below Anyway, let's just get started from Twitter. I guess we'll just we'll just go there first because I feel like there's gonna be less questions on there. First question: What is your favorite app at the moment? I love apps. A lot of people don't like when people other YouTubers talk about cool apps, but it's like what? It's awesome. It's like people are developing these incredible and fun apps. Like let's appreciate them. Okay, well there's a ton of apps that I use on a daily basis. Obviously my social media, but this game I've been playing is called High School Story. Okay, I'm addicted. I'm scared if I go on it right now for too long, I'm gonna like not be able to film this video. It takes a while to load because it's a really high, high quality game. You can get it for free on, on any Android or Apple and the game's free completely, so it's awesome. The quality of the game, like the digital quality, is just unbelievable. Basically, you like build your entire own high school. Like, you buy like all the buildings, like I've literally bought like, a hangout spot, an admissions office, then you end up getting students, you have to decide whether to admit them or not. You are in classes, you buy books. It's literally the entire experience in this game and it's incredible. It kind of helps you guide through it, so it's like Buy your books, tap on classroom, so books, counting up to 10, you have to buy it, so I click it. Next, if you want to like rush the books, it's just really cool. So you rush the books to get them earlier, use your level to then get classmates, tap on yourself. So it says you start learning, so then you like get the books. And then um, it like basically helps you get through the entire experience. Like it'll help you buy admissions office. It'll help you buy books. It'll help you go through your classes. It helps you do like everything. It's super super cool. Um, and then you like make friends as you admit people to the school. Right now I have two friends, Autumn and I forgot what his name. Um, I don't remember his name or I think his name is like Tanzian. This other guy who's in my school. And you can go in different like quests and all this like you get rewards it's just like so engaging it's such a high quality game something i'd see like on a video game for free on an iphone is just insane whenever i'm bored in my uber just chilling like literally i've played this for 40 minutes in my ride and then i'm just like sitting there like yes yes and when i get to the location i'm like i have to stop playing like, it's incredible quality it's free it's honestly just an amazing game and i'd recommend you all check it out okay so moving forward let's continue on in, on twitter if we see Fave acai bowl place for with dates. Fave acai fave place for acai bowl dates with Shane. I love acai bowl acai bowls and Shane loves acai bowls. We love a lot of places. My favorite. Ugh, this is really hard to say. I really like backyard bowls in Beverly Hills. So good if you're like a first timer just trying to experience what acai bowl is. That's the place for you. That's really on Twitter. There, there, a lot of them are just like repeat questions that I saw on Instagram. So I'm just gonna go to Instagram now because I feel that's where I got the majority of questions. That this year I've got like over 300 questions. So we're just gonna go on. Let's just go here. Will you move back to Chicago after college? No, I do plan on staying in LA after college and kind of for my life. I really, really love it here when I moved here. It was kind of like, it was perfect because I definitely wanted to go to school here and stay here for my life. So it's perfect. Um, I do love Chicago and I'll always go back and visit. You know, it's like where I grew up. But I don't plan on ever like moving back there as of now, you know. So, yeah. Um, favorite brand of shoe? It's a hard one. I love Topshop and Zara shoes because they make shoes that are super, super trendy and they're like nice quality and they're not crazy expensive. So I'd, I'd say those two are my favorite. Do you ever see your parents moving to LA? You know, actually, I, I would love it and they definitely are open to moving to California and stuff too. I really hope that in the next couple of years they actually do make that move. That'd be awesome for them because they'd be closer to me and stuff like that. You know what I mean? I would really love my parents were near me. I'm like super, super close to them. We're like BFFs. Why did I just do this peace sign? But I'd love for them to move here. Um, what's your favorite season for fashion? I really like summer. I feel like it's very easy just to layer basic pieces. You literally could just wear shorts, plain, plain tank, some like wedges and it's just very dressy it's my favorite a lot of people say fall but I don't like doing a lot of layers and stuff in in California and LA it's so warm all the time which is perfect because it's like my favorite style to dress up in so it's like nice that it's always this temperature around so yes 
you plan on having children later on in life? Of course I want two kids. I've talked about this before and I want to name them Chad and Chloe. Literally, mark my words, in 10 years I'm going to name them Chad and Chloe. Um, money managing, saving slash spending tips. Just plan out in the beginning of the month what you were planning on spending on what. Maybe like be realistic with yourself because before spend what I budget, I would like set complete really low things that I knew I was going to surpass like if I ever went shopping or like, you know what I mean, stuff like that. So set things that you are in your budget but are realistic and you're not like, I'm going to spend $5 on like food this month, do you know what I mean? So, yeah. How do you like living on your own without your parents? I mean, I love it. I love living on my own. I love having my own apartment. I just love having my own space. I love everything about it. I mean, I obviously miss my parents because they're my parents and I love them, but I obviously you can't live with your parents for the rest of your life, and I definitely think I was like mature and old enough to live on my own. I don't really like, you know what I mean? So I love living on my own, and I obviously love my parents, but I definitely love living on my own. Um, what's your favorite acai bowl? I always look like the classic ones. I like the pitaya bowls, I think that's what they're called too. I like berry bowls. I'm like really not picky with it. I just love any type of bowl, honestly. Except for ones that have too much sweet stuff in it. I like them to be pretty plain. Um, how, ba, 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 what's your zodiac sign? I'm a Gemini and I feel like it's very prominent. A ton of people have like always like always assume I am too. I'm definitely very talkative. Like Gemini's obviously ruled. I'm like really into astrology too, but I won't get into that. It's ruled by Mercury, so communication and stuff, and I'm majoring in communication, but I'm definitely very talkative. Um, I definitely, like, the pajamas, like, a lot of times have, like, two sides, I guess. Sometimes, like, I definitely can, like, feel that sometimes. Not, like, two faced, but, like, like definitely different mood. I definitely I agree with the overall characteristics of Gemini. What's your biggest pet peeve? I've answered this so much. It's when people step on the back of my shoes. I don't even think about it. Like, I just hate it. It hurts my feet. It's, it's so annoying. I know people don't do it on purpose, and I, I don't actually get mad, but, like, it really bothers me. And, like, I'm just like, it's fine. But inside, I'm like, stop. Um, I'm also 18, and I was wondering how scared you were to be 100% independent so soon in life because I was planning on doing the same thing. Uh, like I said before, I felt like very mature and ready and um, I don't know, I just, I've always been an independent person. I've been traveling alone since like literally 14, 15. Um, I don't know, I've never like, I know Gemini's in general, back to the astrology, but I'm pretty independent too. Like I don't, I don't know, I just, I, I feel, I feel like it's very individual things. Some people literally, their parents that are like cry and can't handle it or like cannot be alone and move back and I'm just like, I'm uh, lucky I can listen to my music while dancing around, while combing my hair, while eating whatever I want, you know what I mean? I don't know. So, just, you'll be fine. Just It's really your mindset. It's all good. You can go back and visit your parents. You can Skype them, you know. So, what's the weirdest situation you've been in while living in L.A.? Okay, I'm going to answer like three more questions because I feel like Q&As get so long so quick. Um, okay, once I was at the promenade and, no, not the promenade. This is, oh, this is when you were living in L.A. I can't even, oh yeah, this was living in What are we talking about? This is what, for, this is what urged me to get my... Um, pepper spray. I was at the promenade and I was waiting to meet up with Remy actually and I was just sitting on like this bench and this like creepy man came up to me. Oh, I, I don't remember it was like so I was like a little the second like I moved and like I think like put his hand on me and it was really creepy and just I was like trying to leave and it was just like weird like I was already really uncomfortable and that's when I ordered pepper spray so Shane just tweeted at me, is Shane fun to live with? Shane is fun to live with. Um, it's just nice to have like someone to always like Hang out with, I feel like I could definitely live alone too, like I wouldn't like it, but I just like having someone, we always like, we like, we can be alone when we want, like I have my own filming room and he like, hangs out and he'll go work out and do stuff, we are not like together 24-7, it's just nice to have someone like at the end of the day to chill. Okay, basically the last question, two, two last questions I'll answer, basically a lot, Tommy people asking about like, about like if Jane and I get in fights living together, we really don't get in like fights ever, like actual fights, we might get in like disagreements about like, can you clean this, and then... He doesn't do it, or if I he asks me to do something, then I don't do it. Like I forget. Like we were just like, can you do that? Or like we never get in like fights though, but we get in like, okay, come on, you know what I mean? I I really really do like having living with Shane. What's the best piece of advice you'd give someone who wants to start a YouTube channel on their own and be successful at it? I love all your videos, by the way. I love you too, of course, Jade Sedeno. I hope I said that right. Um. Put out what you like, you know, do, I don't know, just be yourself, don't like try to over plan everything and be like so, like I feel like a lot of people like want to plan out like what they're going to do, I need to like literally be like I'm going to buy this and I'll start after I get this and if I get this lighting and this camera and then I can do it, it's like just start, you know, I feel like that's the first thing, like just sit down one day and just start, like I feel like people either wait too long to start or like overthink their content, just in the beginning literally post whatever you feel. If you get an idea, like post it, you know what I mean? The more ideas and stuff you put out there, the, the higher likelihood that someone will find, like you'll find 
someone will find your videos and enjoy them, you know what I mean? Just honestly put out things that you like. Don't try to see something and copy. I've talked about this before, but don't just like see an idea and try to copy. I mean, sure, you can do popular videos, that's awesome, but you know what I mean? Try like to do them in your own way. Try to just do what you want is the best way. I feel like that's like, do what you want. No, but like literally just put out whatever you want, edit the way you want, do everything the way you want, and I feel like when you're just doing what you want, you, you'll kind of create your own style in a sense, and then people will like that. Just I feel like I really like people who are unique and who can just tell literally just do whatever they want. <laughs> I think it's just awesome to see on YouTube. That's my advice. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this Q&A. I really like doing these. Let me know if you'd like me to continue doing these every two or three months or so, and I will definitely continue to do these for you guys. Um, and I think that was it for the video. If you do enjoy this, give me a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, then be sure to subscribe and join the clam fam so you can be a part of this family. I don't know why I always do weird hand gestures at the end of my videos. It's like a really weird habit. I just need to like calm down. Okay, you guys have an incredible day or night depending on when you're watching this. I really hope again you enjoy this video and I hope to see you all soon. Bye. The enemy, they try to do it like you. Like you. And they get mad because they don't do it successfully.